What's up guys, welcome to your 194th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And pretty much our application is done. All we need to do is maybe monetize it, you know, add some ads on there and hopefully get some clicks and, you know, make pennies and all that great stuff. Uh, you know, pennies can go a long ways. But uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to set up ads within our application. But before we do that, we need to download the jar uh, to put incorporate AdMob within our application. Also these last few tutorials we're going to show you how to you know sign your application which we kind of did with the Google Maps as well as you know put it on the marketplace and probably show you guys how to update your application just in case you need to do that as well. So what we need to do first is you know get the jar so we can use some ads uh, ad type methods and uh, refreshing our ads and all that good stuff and make sure the connection goes through and you know you get paid your pennies or dollars or whatever um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a site called admob.com and we're gonna use admob to put ads within our within our application so you guys will have to register uh, you know register for this it's free so nothing to worry about there but uh, I'm not gonna go through the registration process it's pretty much like signing up for anything else and then once you do that uh, you want to go to this marketplace tab here and I'm probably gonna blur out uh, my information because I'm sure it's against the rules if it's anything like AdSense and all that but uh, you know you might be like oh how much is he making it's not much guys so trust me on that and also I don't have any good applications on on this account so it doesn't really matter but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to this button here just gonna shoot down to this tab here so just find a tab like this that says add site or app and we're gonna click on that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to an Android app because that's what we've been developing and we need to give it uh, some information so our app name we're gonna say the new Boston basics something like that and what we need to do now is we have to make that correlation between our actual package name and AdMob. So we do that with uh, you know this package URL and all we're gonna say is market colon forward slash forward slash details question mark ID equals and then greater than sign com dot the new Boston dot Travis and then uh, you know less than sign. So that's my package name again if you guys forget you just go right here into your project and here's your package name um, so just make sure that that is the exact same and then we're gonna give it a category like productivity and we're gonna give app description now the app description actually gets viewed uh, by the people that work at AdMob so you kinda wanna give it some detailed information so they can help you uh, or help put the right ads on your application and hopefully you make more money that way so I'm just gonna say uh, this is so I just said something like this is a basic Android programming example used for teaching Android development um, you know and that's probably good enough if you want to add more descriptions or more detail to your description feel free it probably will help you out but um, just do that then we're just gonna hit continue and what we need to do is we need to download the SDK or the jar that we're gonna add to our project so we're just gonna click either download here and it's gonna download um, to wherever you guys choose or what we can do is go over into clips go up to the window tab and then Android SDK AVD manager we can go to I'm gonna go to installed packages because I already have this installed but this is what you're gonna look for it is the Google AdMob adds SDK package and revision 2 where that's gonna be located is under the available packages if you guys don't have it downloaded already third-party add-ons and then the Google add-ons and it should be somewhere like right here uh, actually there's a revision 3 so I'll just actually download that and hit accept all or whatever install and that's pretty much it for this tutorial uh, we got our uh, package name registered with AdMob and we're also downloading the SDK so we can refer to it in our actual project and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial where we'll start getting this set up and all that great stuff so I'll catch you then have a good one